The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. The European Union pledges 15 million U.S. dollars to Haiti for enhancing its emergency and natural disaster response, including sponsoring an operative center to improve coordination of relief work. During a visit to Spain with his wife, Camilla the Duchess of Cornwall, His Royal Highness Prince Charles of Wales, United Kingdom, meets with Prime Minister José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero to discuss the environment and sustainable development, as well as resolving matters of shared concern between their countries. At the request of Tajik cultural officials, Iran's Minister of Culture and Islamic Guidance, Sayed Mohammed Hosseini, announces the country's plans to set up a permanent cultural exhibition in Tajikistan to share with the public. Two Ryerson University students from Canada have developed a prosthetic arm that is controlled by brain signals but does not require invasive surgery and costs significantly less. As part of a campaign by the Society for the Protection of Animals in Estonia, volunteers help feed 400 swans to support them through the winter after they stayed when being mistakenly fed by residents in the autumn at a time when they would normally be flying south to warmer climates for food. In an effort to integrate individuals with disabilities and encourage their participation, as well as provide necessary health care, the government of Syria announces that free preventive diagnostic and treatment services will be offered in educational hospitals. A white paper on national defense published by China's Information Office of the Council of State reaffirms the country's intentions toward peaceful development and policies of nonviolence. <laughs>